I received a question um, on how I ran my fuel lines on my EFI to carb conversion here. Uh, and so obviously one of the things, the major things you have to take in consideration in this project is that you're going from a high pressure system to a low pressure system. So there's a couple ways you could do that. You can uh, switch to low pressure fuel pumps or you could do what I did and get a fuel pressure regulator that is made specifically for this. This is my Aeromotive um, EFI to carb conversion fuel pressure regulator. And that is like the actual name of it. If you look it up, uh, Aeromotive EFI to carb conversion fuel pressure regulator, this exact thing will pop up. It's like $300. Um, this thing has been running since August so far. It's well, August, 2020, I should say, depending on when you're watching this video and it's running great still. And so what happens is the fuel comes from back here. So here, let me just hop up on here. These are the original fuel lines right here. Um, and what I did is I just took a couple of, um, double ended barbed fittings. Come on, focus on that. So here's the original fuel lines here. And so, um, do, 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 do. the blue is the one that goes in. So, if you look at the blue, that goes from the fuel tank. And then in to the fuel pressure regulator, bleh, fuel pressure regulator right there at the side. Okay, so we have the original line that I pieced together to more hose. You run it into here, which is the inlet. And then um, you have a return at the bottom, which goes into the gray hose. You can see here under the truck too, that here's the, flu the blue line and here's the gray line. So this one goes from the tanks and this one goes back to the tanks. And so that's your return line. And then out here is the outlet, which goes to the carburetor. So high pressure in, and then um, I think it's uh, this gauge will tell you your high pressure right there. Um, and then this gauge will tell you your low pressure coming out right here. So I know that seems a little bit backwards, but that's that's the way it is. And so, yeah, that's just how I ran my fuel lines like that. And this thing works great. Um, you tune the fuel pressure with these up here. You just loosen up this nut and you take an Allen wrench and you, you know, spin these one way or the other. And then that'll decrease or increase the fuel pressure. And then um, the one thing with this thing that I got to say, though, is that it can be a little bit tricky um, because... If you don't get your fuel pressure adjusted within a certain parameter there, it will just leak fuel. Um, but once you get it right, it does not leak fuel. So there you go. That's how I ran that. I just reused my old fuel lines and added some new hose and then went straight to the carburetor right in there. So yeah, and that is how I ran my fuel lines.